There's been a lot of news coverage lately on the merits of getting vaccinated to protect us against the COVID-19 virus. This message is an important one for you. Last December, the first vaccines, Pfizer and Moderna, were authorized and recommended by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. That's because the COVID-19 pandemic caused by the SARS-CoV-2 virus has continued to have a serious impact on many people, including cancer patients, their caregivers, and their families. In fact, one out of every 650 Americans has been killed by COVID-19. Vaccines help a person's immune system recognize and protect the body against certain infections. The CDC, the National Comprehensive Cancer Network, and other cancer-related organizations say cancer patients are a high priority for vaccination. These expert medical groups and health organizations are recommending that most patients with cancer or a history of cancer get a COVID-19 vaccine if they have no contraindications. That is, no history of severe allergic reaction to any component of the vaccine. Making vaccines available to cancer patients is important to saving lives, but the situation is different for everyone. It is best to discuss the benefits and risks of getting the COVID-19 vaccine with your cancer doctor who can advise you. Having cancer can increase your risk of severe illness from COVID-19. Individuals who are older and have other medical conditions like weakened immune system, heart disease, and kidney or lung dysfunction are also at higher risk for getting COVID-19. For those of you with cancer who have other medical conditions that put you at risk for getting severe reactions to the COVID-19 virus, it's important to consider getting vaccinated. Patients who have just received CAR T-cell therapy or had a stem cell transplant should speak to their oncologist first. The National Cancer Institute has said this group of patients may want to delay COVID-19 vaccination, at least initially. Patients who are getting aggressive chemotherapy should also speak to their doctor to make sure that it is appropriate for them to receive their vaccine. I recommend that all of my active treatment patients who aren't in those categories get the vaccine on the week they're not getting treatment and to follow up with their oncologist to discuss potential antibody testing in the future. We know many cancer survivors have immunologic deficiencies. They may be older and have other medical conditions. These are all reasons to get vaccinated. Caregivers and family members also hold the key to the vaccine equation. A good way to protect a loved one with cancer is to vaccinate the people who spend time with or are in close contact with them. Vaccinating close contacts of people with cancer provides everyone with an extra layer of protection. To all patients, a number one priority should be to protect against COVID-19 as you continue cancer treatment and screenings. Please sign up for the vaccine when it becomes available to you. Please speak with your doctor if you have questions. Because we know that every situation is unique, you can also call the COVID-19 vaccine hotline number at 219-703-2000 or 211. To learn more about the Cancer Resource Center's clinical trials and support groups, please visit the website myccrf.com or call 219-836-6875. Thank you for listening.